Alright, and welcome back to a new episode of our Spellforce 1 Let's Play. In the last episode, we pretty much took care of everything in the shield. Now, before we move on to the next map, which is, like I uh, brought up in the previous episode, sort of the final map of the first act of Spellforce 1, I do want to try and get rid of Udwin in... Oh, we can't do this. Okay. I do want to try and get rid of Udwin in the uh, in Leonon because now we have rune heroes that maybe might be able to handle him so while I don't know if this is going to work I think it will be an interesting thought experiment to an extent now he's level 20 we have a level 9 a level 7 and a level 6 the level 6 might be good for aura if nothing else um, the warlock is also kind of good with with uh, close combat here and we'll obviously you know be sort of the the main heavy hitter she of the whole thing she will oh, berserk she can use i'm probably gonna skip all the spells because well i don't think any of these spells are gonna hit him but we will try nonetheless all right let's see how this goes so we have Berserk, Berserk, and we have my Warcry and my Berserk. So I think, first things first, I'm going to use Berserk on all of us. And see how far that gets us. Quick save before we actually do it. It's not that big of a deal. If we can't do it now, we can definitely do it after the next map. Um, but you know, just get a little bit of extra XP, if possible. Because there will also be some some side quests afterwards, and uh, yeah, I would like to I would like to pile up as much XP as I can to hopefully get level eleven on the next map or during the next map. All right, let's see. So he's gonna attack the spell. You do berserk, you do berserk, and I'll do berserk. And now everyone just needs to hit. Let's see. Oh, hey, this looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, we got it. I think. Well, he does heal. He does heal if he gets that, but. Okay, I mean, um, this has been much less of an issue than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, okay, no, no, that's, that's great. And we have his ring, which is level 12. Um, someone did mention in one of the, under one of the videos that, you know, it's not really worth killing him at a level lower than 12 because there's no way you can use his ring, but still. I'm glad we got that. And while we are here, I do want to do something with Darius. Because there's a lot of things to talk about with Darius. Oh, should I do this now? Should I keep it? You know what? I'm going to keep this after we are done with the first act. So after we are done with the next map, basically. We're going to come back to Darius and talk to him a little bit. Because he has a lot of interesting and I feel like very important law information. Um that should, for, for anyone who's a fan of Spellforce story and a fan of the law and wants to know a lot more, shouldn't be skipped, um, this part that he has to tell you. And it's one that a lot of people, you know, might overlook if they don't ever come back to Darius and don't talk to him. That's another thing, Spellforce doesn't have a lot of these in Spellforce 1, but there are a few instances where if you return to people after something particular has happened inside the game, like a, a big event, like we'll see, um, at the end of the next map, they will sort of have new things to tell you, or new updated dialogue, so something to keep in mind. I myself know of a few, then there might be some that I've uh, never, you know, tried uh, talking to, but yeah. Let me know in the comments actually which ones you know that like give you new content material, the more you... How do I put this? If you come to them after a certain period of time, or after a certain event has happened. Because I'm curious if there is something like that. I know one person mentioned this to me, and I want to bring it up here as well. Um, it's something that has happened to me once before. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll interrupt myself, because here, if I click fast enough, you can actually see Rowan fighting. And that's only possible... And they all disappear. That's only possible because of the blade minion here, because he gave us some vision with this. Pretty cool thing. Anyhow, uh, what I wanted to say, someone did mention in the comments recently that, um, for example, if you go to Gabar, one of the first things Gabar wants from you is to bring him the glasses from for his master, right, that he had stolen from him. 
Now, in Spellforce 1, there are two glasses that you kind of stumble upon like that. There is one in Greyfell uh, from the Thief, which is the right one, and there is also one from a Dwarf, which comes uh, a bit later when we go to Windholm, um, and it's related to that. Uh, to Like, the Dwarf is in Windholm. The glasses itself, I think you get them from Greyfell or whatever, um, but you can try and bring those glasses to Gabar, and he'll say something along the lines of, you know, no, that's not the right thing, you know, I don't want to be seen with contraband or like stolen wares and stuff like that. So it's cool that at some points they did implement a lot of these like small things, small changes that happen depending on your actions. And I kind of wish there was more of that. But on the other hand, I do understand that it's sometimes hard to implement, but still. All right, let's talk to this guy. Fast schien es, als würden sich Brennigans Truppen vor uns verstecken. Die wenigen Male, die wir auf sie trafen, ließen sie uns unbehelligt. Wo ist Rohan? Als wir den Pass erreichten, griffen sie uns plötzlich mit aller Wucht an. Wir wurden von Rohan getrennt und mussten uns hierher zurückziehen. Wir glauben, dass er weiter nach Osten vorgestoßen ist. Dann ist er noch am Leben. Ja, davon gehen wir aus. Die Horden der Schwarzen Faust können kaum etwas gegen einen Zirkelmagier ausrichten. We're taking that for granted. Aber ihr um, solltet mit unserem mm, Anführer sprechen. Ja, yeah, na. Swanson. Na. Wo finde ich Meister Swanson? Im Dorf nördlich von hier. Dort haben wir uns verschanzt. Ja, yeah, na. I'm not buying that translation. Alright, let's go to this little encampment of theirs. It's always such a different perspective. Like, when you play like this, I feel like... Yes, you can clearly see this is going uphill, but you don't get the same idea as when you are playing in third person. Here you can really see how uphill this is going. That's one of these other things that, like, where I just think the third person is great. Also, I like the fact that with how we are right now, we are fitting in pretty nicely with all these people here. Before we talk to Swanson, though, I do want to talk to some other people first. There's three and the merchant but let's start with twiddle here Welch hoher Besuch in meinem bescheidenen Hause Seid herzlich willkommen Wait a minute Twiddle Hmm I think I don't think it, it has anything to do with Professor Twiddle from Spellforce 2 I really don't because in Spell I don't I, her name in German in the German version is also Twiddle um I'm pretty sure but I'd have to check that. Wow, I'm having a I'm having a, a, a brain lapse right now. Ist euer hier? But yeah, I think it's also Kalina Twiddle in German. Hmm. All right. So not much from her for now. Um. But that's something I just noticed. Like, could she be related to Twiddle? There is, I don't think, any evidence besides this name here that would point towards it, but interesting to think about. Ah, ihr müsst der Runenkrieger des Ordens sein. Man redet viel von euch. Schätze, wir alle schulden euch großen Dank. Depth of Gratitude. Another weird translation. Lebt ihr schon lange hier? So lange ich denken kann. Und hier werde ich auch bleiben bis ans Ende meiner Tage. Nachdem der Spinnenmeister meine Tochter geholt hat, steht mir sowieso nach nichts mehr der Sinn. Da ist dieser Ort so gut wie jeder andere. Eure Tochter wurde entführt? Ja, von dieser verfluchten Kreatur, diesem Spinnenmann. Viele meinen, er sei nur eine Legende. Aber seit er aus dem Pass heruntergestiegen ist, sind auch die Spötter eines Besseren belehrt worden. <lacht> er war es der all die Jahre unserer Kinder geraubt hat. Verdammt soll er sein. Wenn ich noch die Kraft hätte, dann würde ich ihn seinen eigenen Bestien zum Fraß vorwerfen. Dann wäre Sarah... Ja, yeah, his story is so sad. We'll do that for him. We'll do that for him. His story is very sad, to be fair. Okay, but what's also sad is the fact that this guy doesn't really have... Hunter Skilled, Master Woodcutter. I don't think I have either of those, so we'll buy them. We'll sell everyone except Cord. And we can sell all of this, I think. 
The mushroom will keep. The mushroom we will keep because it's it'll actually be useful for some for a quest later on, I think. Other than that, we can leave it. We already have this on three, so we could have sold it, I guess. Um, these buildings I also want to use. Medium HQ buildings. Not the most useful um, on this map in particular, but hey, we'll take him. Let's talk to Gonderson first. Also one of the reoccurring characters in Spellforce. Wer seid ihr? Warum versteckt ihr euch hier? Mein Name ist Flan Gondersen. Ich bin Händler aus Lihanon. Ihr seht furchtbar aus. Wer hat euch so übel zugerichtet? Ich war mit einer großen Lieferung Waren auf dem Weg nach Graufurt. In Schiel wurde ich plötzlich von Banditen überfallen, doch mir gelang es zu fliehen. Okay. Und was geschah mit euren Waren? Ja, the important question. <laughs> Doch diese Banditen werden nicht viel Freude damit haben. Weshalb nicht? Actually, I'm thinking. Ist mit einem raffinierten I am thinking about something. I'm I'll tell you after this. I'm thinking I should probably do this quest before I play this map because the weapon we get from that quest is very good. But I'm not sure if I can use it. And you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. Um, Wie lautet die Reihenfolge? Ihr beliebt zu scherzen. Ich bin Händler. Okay. Für eine solche Information müsst ihr mir schon etwas von vergleichbarem Gegenwert geben. Malachite. Eine Malachite zum Beispiel. A Malachite. Alright. Who has that? I think you have it, no? You don't. Ah, who has a Malachite right now? Oh, Mal Mal Malachite? 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 Um, I know who has one. I know who has one and... Okay, we're gonna do this a bit differently. We're gonna go to the portal, uh, to the portal, to the Bindstone. And then we will get one. Sendet mich mit eiligen Dokumenten und einer Warnung. Und ihr habt euch bis hierher durchgeschlagen. Kein schlechtes Stück Arbeit. Seit Tagen marschieren die Horden der Faust nach Westen. Das habe ich gemerkt. Wie bei Aonias Licht habt ihr es geschafft, euch hier zu halten? Mit dem Herzen, mein Freund. Und dem Stahl. Zugegeben, sie haben sich bislang nicht allzu viel Mühe mit uns gemacht. Sie wissen, dass wir ihnen nicht entkommen können. Momentan sind sie mit Wichtigerem beschäftigt. Rowan. Rowan. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Wo ist Rowan jetzt? What we need to get to him. Irgendwo auf der anderen Seite des Passes. Wir können nur warten, bis er wieder zurückkehrt. Es ist völlig unmöglich, zu ihm durchzubrechen. Nicht völlig unmöglich. Ihr nehmt eure Aufgabe wahrhaftig ernst. Falls ihr wirklich vorhabt, gegen die Faust zu marschieren, werdet ihr unsere Hilfe brauchen. Ich nehme an, ihr benötigt eines dieser Monumente. Wenn ihr dem Weg nach Osten folgt, werdet ihr auf eines stoßen. Allerdings streifen dort Plänkler der Faust herum. Sendet einige Ritter als Ablenkung nach Osten. Das sollte mir genügend Zeit verschaffen, das Monument zu erreichen. Hi, so soll es sein. Gebt Nachricht, wenn ihr bereit seid. Dann sollt ihr eure Ablenkung erhalten. Okay. Now, do I want to do this now? It could be a very big waste of time if the weapon isn't good. Uh, oh, I mean, it's good, but if I can't use it. I think I want to do it. Yeah, let's do it. We'll be cool for this episode, I think. Yeah, um, that's not gonna happen. We will get rid of those, but I don't want to secure the monument yet because that would activate spawners. And even though I'm leaving the map, I just don't feel like that's the best idea. So we need a Malahite. Uh, Mal I really need to look how to say that. Look up how to say that. Malahite? 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 Well, in German it's Malahite, but... It's one of those words that you just, like, never use and rarely read. And you know what it means, but, you know. I should look it up. Okay, let's get rid of these first. Look up the best way of uh, cutting down some bandits. Alright, fairly easy. Actually, if they... It could... Like, it's theoretically possible to, to bait them into attacking all of this here. But I don't really... Ah, oh, they're gonna do it. I don't really want them to. If I'm being fair. And if they start, I'm gonna... Okay, they are not gonna do it. Great. That's good. 
I want to kill as many of those as I can, and once we get back to this map, I'm gonna make it purposefully more difficult for myself by... Uh, purposefully more difficult for myself by not destroying this camp before activating the monument, but instead waiting until after. This way these troops will also technically be attacking me and I'll have a much smaller area to work with, but I feel like it's, it's like a cool little challenge I can issue myself here. There are some things to loot here, and of course we will clear this whole part up and use it for bu as building space a bit later, but I don't think it's gonna be that much of a detriment if we make our job a little bit harder than it should be. But okay, let's try to go for this. It also goes hand in hand with the whole like wanting to be level 11 as soon as I can on this map. So, for that reason, I think we should go to Eloni. If I'm not mistaken, that human merchant in Eloni, in the south part of the city, will have the item we are looking for. And I'm, I purposefully avoided saying the name this time. But he should have it. Let's see. All right, Mark Shamir, he does, oh uh, yeah, we have enough gold for this. I still don't know why there's diamonds here, 631 gold. I wish there was some sort of side quest that required you to sort of get this diamond to unlock something, maybe a valuable spell or item or whatever, you know, but just have some sort of quest to, to uh, prompt you to get it, because as things stand, the, the diamond is useless. Unless I'm missing something and, you know, someone knows of some hidden implication or application, rather, for, for this particular diamond. I'm thinking it could have been with, while the game was still being developed as an MMO, because I'm, I'm pretty sure most people at this point know, but Spellforce used to be developed as an MMO RPG before switching to what it is today. And um, maybe that's one of the remnants from, from that time, you know, maybe in there it would have been used for something. Okay. We have your stone. What do I want? Okay, he just repeats that. Okay. I want the sequence. Oh, wait, what happens if I say I'm not interested in the sequence? Ah. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, okay, so he really needs this. Okay. Here, named. Ein Malachit. Ja, die Kombination allein genügt nicht. Um ah, okay. I hope I didn't lock myself out of the combination by this, by doing this. Mir den geben? Natürlich. Hier habt ihr ihn. All right. Well, I have the key now. Okay, yeah, okay. Sagt mir, wie man die Knöpfe der Kiste drehen muss. I think it's Schön. left Wie up, lautet? left down or something. Ja. Rechter oh, Knopf. okay, right. Und dann linker Knopf. Okay, I was completely wrong. Okay. Weiter. Knopf in der Mitte. Linker Knopf. Ja. Und zuletzt okay. noch einmal den. Okay. Okay, easy enough. So right, left, middle, left, middle. And we have the chest key. So now we can open it for Valdis. Go back to Greyfell. And then finish this whole tincture quest that we have. Man, it really puts the map into a different perspective when you look at it like this, doesn't it? Look at this. Like... I w you would... Like, yeah, you can kind of see that this is taller, but when you're in third person, it really stands out. Like, look at this. Wow, okay. Very cool. But okay, anyhow, uh, she'll dry at Cove. Let's get the chest, let's open it. And hopefully let's get a good weapon that we'll be able to use. It's a weapon that um, I always like using when I'm playing characters that can use it. But yeah, the damage itself isn't really the best. I feel like the effect that comes with the weapon is worth it though. But okay, so we had right. Knob, left knob, middle knob, left knob, middle knob. It's unlocked, and I will insert the gray key. Great, and we have the Valdis, the Valdis package, the care package. Now, with the best 
UPS cosplay that we can put on. We are gonna go to her in Grayful and hand deliver it. This also unlocks her as a merchant, which is pretty nifty. Especially because I think she has a lot of... Oh, that was laggy. Uh, especially because I think she has a lot of uh, white magic spells in her inventory, which is useful for the type of character we are playing as right now. Alright, let's go. Just imagine us pulling up in a car like a UPS truck. Hey, Valdus. Here is the stuff you want. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I have this for you. Meine Lieferung. Endlich. Wie soll ich euch nur dafür belohnen? Meine Kasse ist leer. Wartet. Cashbox. Hier. Jesus. diese Tinktur. Sie hat große Heilkraft und wird überall geschätzt. Imagine though. Like, yes, Valdis knows that we want the tincture because, well, we kind of brought it up before we gave the, the delivery to her. But imagine she just gave you like something random as a reward and it's not the tinct tincture. And then, <laughs> and then they also just kind of like left out dry in Eloni. Like, oh, did you get the tincture? Well, I was trying to get the tincture, but then, you know, she just kind of gave me like a bagel or some shit, like some food. Um, instead of the tincture, which, yeah, sorry, <laughs> and then they just die. Was wollt ihr von mir? Ich habe eure Tinktur besorgt. Hier procured. Ist oh, fremde. Okay, that's not bad. That's ich not bad actually. In It's interesting Schuld. that they use procured. Dies als kleines Zeichen meiner Dankbarkeit. There we go. Ice staff. And if I can't use this, I'll be very sad. Ah, level eleven. Level eleven. All right, um, it did bring us a bit closer to level 11 though, and it means that soon we will be able to use it. Is there any other side quest I can do in the meantime? Silk from rock spiders, no, no, and also no. Okay, so the only things we can do is actually go back and start building. So that's what we'll do. Though, though I think think, even though this episode is a little bit short by the standard of the other ones, I think I'll probably make a cut here and then start the next episode proper when we actually start building. I feel like it, it makes for a nice place to cut. So yeah, okay, with that, um, we're gonna first end it here and in the next one we will hopefully get level 11 and be able to use this weapon that this whole ordeal was about. But with that, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!